Hi there, it's the Dutch Sims 4 Mask. Welcome to this brand new The Sims 4 Apartment Speed Build. So today it's not a regular apartment that I'm building in The Sims 4. It's actually a very special apartment because I'm building Casey Neistat's studio. In case you don't know who he is, he's a very famous YouTuber. He's got over 5 million subscribers and uh, he's definitely by far my favorite YouTuber out there. I've been watching his videos for a couple of years now. Uh, he lives in New York City and he uh, started making films uh, like years ago on YouTube already before that he did television and regular film work but now he's uh, been doing daily vlogs on YouTube for over one and a half years I believe and I've really been following that every day ever since he started and also before then I already watched his regular films uh, which he created and he's just very inspiring he creates beautiful content because of him, I sometimes feel like I really know what New York or living in New York is like, even though I've never been there. And I thought with the new opportunity or possibility to build apartments in The Sims for City Living, I thought it would be cool to build his studio. Because in case you don't know who he is, he's got a very, well, a very special studio like in the middle of New York City and um, it's sort of his archive where he has everything that he collected throughout his life and it's very crea uh, creative, it's full of stuff and uh, yeah, in this video you'll notice what, uh, what I'm kind of trying to uh, rebuild this in The Sims 4. So um, yeah, as you just saw, uh, there were some pictures of his office in the video in case you don't know who he is. But if you do know who he is, you definitely will recognize his studio. It was sort of hard to create, but uh, I did my best. And please, if you're watching this, let make sure that we can share this and make Casey nice that see this video. Uh, while building, I was like, I'm, I'm this Casey nice will never watch this, but my friends were like, yeah, maybe if we just work together as a team, sort of with all your subscribers, we can actually make it work. And if we put like the video we tweeted to him or we put the link or not the link, but we just tell them to uh, look up it, look the video up on YouTube, uh, people will see it. And in that way, Casey will see it because they thought um, uh, Casey nice that would like to see this. And I can honestly personally imagine as well that it would be really cool to see your own creative space being recreated in a game. So this is The Sims 4 in case you're really new to my channel, but many of you will just be my regular subscribers. Then you'll also notice that this is not really a regular speedboard uh, when it comes to having a bathroom and a kitchen and a living room. This is just really Really his studio you can download this from the gallery look for origin ID Dutch Sims master and then you should be able to download this and put it in your own game and yeah please be aware that this is created in a game which definitely not has endless opportunities and possibilities so I really have to be creative when it comes to several parts for instance here I'm adding the drones that he's got he's been using Phantom uh, DJI Phantom 3 4 uh, ever since they come out and he's really starting to implement those and use those a lot in his daily vlogs So there I just try to make his uh, Like drone corner in case you watch his vlogs You'll definitely really recognize several parts of uh, of his studio But it's very hard because it's so full of stuff and there's so many random stuff all around and it's so full That it was very hard to recreate it But I really did my best to get the main things right for instance his desk over there with all the uh screens but also very many cameras around uh, and also so very many details are actually in his apartment for instance here I'm building uh, or creating the wall which uh, I don't know what he called it I watched this video about the wall like a couple of years back already but it's like a wall with everyone who ever visited his studio has got a picture a Polaroid picture of him or her on this wall with his name or uh, like under it I believe and there you've got very many televisions and yeah it's just a very creative special space it's definitely not what I normally build normally I build like more modern more simplistic things this is definitely something different so I hope those who don't actually know him still enjoy this video it's a little bit more chaotic maybe because it's not actual actually a house but still I think it's really cool and um, yeah here I'm adding some drinks because I noticed that he actually had drinks in the um, yeah in his studio and it's yeah he's just really an, an interesting youtuber because for some reason I've really I'm still interested in his videos even though I've watched him for like 600 days already and still he 
make sure that you are still interesting. He's got a special story. It's funny at times, but it can be serious at times as well. It's just very well shot. And uh, once when I went to Paris for the Sims for City Living event, I also made a vlog and I was really inspired by him. I just have to admit that. I was inspired by him and I really followed his style. But I noticed how hard it is to actually create a vlog. I really underestimated it actually, but it really is hard to film everything you do and still get the good shot, still enjoy what you're doing because that's very important as well, of course. But uh, yeah, it was really good to realize that for myself because it really made me have much more respect for Casey Neistat as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's in the middle of New York City. So that's also the reason I use these windows uh, because those are typical like New York City windows. You didn't just see them, but uh, they are in front of the building. And um, yeah, just keep in mind that not everything could be recreated exactly the way it is, but it was definitely the style that I tried to bring across with this build, but also some actual things that are actually there. For instance, the photo studio, which I added, isn't actually there, but of course he has got like those lights, which many YouTubers use. Uh, so I thought I'm going to add that because in that, that part of the studio isn't really something special. Here I'm trying to add the boosted boards, but there are simply no skateboards or boosted boards in the game. So I couldn't actually add those. That was sort of a pity. But um, yeah, furthermore, I really also tried to add those uh, red boxes, toolboxes, which he added. I believe it are like 50 toolboxes, something like that. Um, but uh, we didn't actually have red toolboxes and the red part was very important so I decided to just not add toolboxes but something different and I just really tried to make it sort of a, a chaos and I really wonder in case Casey nice that sees that I wonder if he never loses anything because seriously I would lose everything in an office like this it's absolutely fantastic but I wouldn't be able to find back anything I put somewhere it would just get lost in a pile of other stuff that I would put over it again and so many boxes which he does actually put tags on i believe here we've got some suitcases because he does travel quite a lot which i personally find very inspiring as well because he just travels the world and seems to do what he likes and i definitely don't underestimate what he does because i can imagine that it's sort of a it really is a hard job to make a video of your life every day stay positive stay happy even though you get comments on your life people comment on the way you live which um, must be yeah, sort of strange to imagine, but um, yeah, here we've got his working space. Yeah, I'm moving all over the place because whenever I find an item which I thought maybe that could be useful, I'm putting it somewhere else. But I also made an area where um, he actually does uh, all the tool work he does. So he uh, really wants to personalize everything with big markers and numbers and everything or his name or cars that into his cameras and yeah it's just a very interesting person in case you've never seen any of his videos I definitely advise you to check them out in case you don't really like vlogs maybe his regular movies uh, which he used to make back in the day are interesting for you the link will obviously be in the description down below and like I said please make sure that Casey Neistat can actually see this video because that would definitely be cool so if we could just like let people in the description uh, or in the comments of his vlog know that this video is out there that would really be fantastic because i mean i would find it cool if people would recreate my working space and he's just got such a personalized working space that i can't imagine that he would like to see that as well so um yeah don't spam or do anything like that because i'm sure people will not like that but just let them know that this video is out there and then uh yeah that would just re really be cool and uh yeah that would be kind of like a live goal i guess but uh yeah here i'm just adding boxes everywhere he often has very many boxes he gets much mail and many like meal items which he also covers in uh, one of his topics and here we've, we've got a very special desk because he has a desk with very many screens also an ultra wide screen but unfortunately we don't have that one in the game but he plays uh, a couple of episodes or parts of a sequence of a movie on those screens all the time which i can't remember what was it Back to the Future? I actually don't know what it was, but he plays it all the time. And then he's also got like a working station. There are just added a couple of cameras because of course a YouTuber has many cameras, but Casey Neistat breaks them all the time because he uses them so much that he actually has very many of them, many of which are broken too. But I just had to fill up that space. So I added some cameras there, even though in real life they are not actually there. I really watched back, I think, 
like 20 vlogs or just scrolled through them to see all the angles of the studio because it's got a couple of angles which it uses a lot but therefore you don't exactly know what everything in the studio looks like and also things changed a lot he recently a couple of months ago changed the studio so therefore everything looked a little bit different so uh, the video in which he actually does a tour around the studio isn't really that accurate anymore so therefore i really had to look through all the vlogs to really see um yeah what this uh, studio looks like but if you watch these videos i think you have to admit that this really does get close to what it looks like but of course it's still the sim so you can't do everything and therefore it is sort of limited um but yeah i'm personally sort of proud and i was so uh, it was just so interesting to build this it was really something different from what i normally do here i realized that i've not actually added like any roof at all yet so this in the beginning made the lighting worse but then afterwards it made the lighting more realistic it's a very industrial space uh, so many very many industrial lights i tried to add those as well and also get the lighting sort of accurate and um yeah his videos are just very interesting i definitely advise you to check them out if you're sort of into vlogs or more lifestyle like videos because they are sort of special and i still remember that back in the day i was scrolling through youtube and i actually saw one of his videos and i was like who is this dude i wasn't really sure whether i liked it so i didn't actually subscribe at the first like time i saw any of his videos but afterwards i saw something different and i was like this is really something different it's just such a unique style uh, where very many people tend to copy others nowadays on youtube which is obvious because there's so much on youtube already he really does his best to stay creative and he actually succeeds in that as well maybe you actually only just recently know him because he made that video in which he travels in first class on emirates uh, to dubai um which uh went like literally viral i believe that video got 25 million views which is insane but um yeah he is just a very important part of the community on youtube even though he's definitely not gotten the most subscribers but he is a very big he's very clearly um there in the community in my opinion so i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other famous people's house sort of which i should recreate in the sims because i kind of came up with this idea to um do this series where i recreate um, the houses of famous people in the sims so this is not actually a house this is a studio so it's not even the place where he lives but still it's something which you can recreate in the game so i'd love to do that as well with other people so please leave any suggestions in the comments and like i said make sure that casey nice that sees this it would be unbelievable i i'm not actually sure whether it will succeed but it would be really cool but uh, anyways thanks for watching this video let me know what you thought of it i hope you enjoyed it uh here you see a little bit of a quick overview of the screenshots i took of the building or of the studio and then uh yeah in case casey nice that sees this thank you for making all those awesome videos this is sort of kind of a video to honor you as well and then also thank you all the viewers who watched this and then i hope to see you back in another video very soon bye bye